Hello and welcome back everyone. It's your girl Cassandra Olivia and I am back with yet another wig review video. I've been busting these out, so please forgive the same appearance in the last couple of videos. But nonetheless, we are here today. And if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today's video is sponsored by a company called Original Queen. They were kind enough to send me an 18 inch straight wig with the bang yangs, guys. Not the bang yangs. <laughs> so yeah, they sent me a wig with the bang. It retails for $220 and I'm just showing everything that's in the packaging. They have like a little pamphlet with their hair information and they also sent a wig cap. So right here I'm using my model Aaliyah. You guys are really familiar with her at this point. I use her in a lot of my wig videos. Um, she is a professional model and she's one of my homegirls. And I just decided to have her come and help me bust out some of these wig reviews. So right now she has been shampooed and she's ready to go. So I'm just going to blow dry her hair out and then I'm going to go ahead and braid her hair. As always, I'm going to link all of the information down below in the description box of everything that I'm going to use in this video, along with Original Queen's information, their websites, all that good jazz, and my um, email. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to um, reach out to Original Queen, but I'll put the hair specs down below. And the, I love this wig only because it's like a ready to wear. You don't have to make sure that your hair is super perfect. The only thing that I really had to do with this wig was just cut the bangs because they were a little bit long, which is perfectly fine with me. I prefer to have longer bangs than have bangs that are way too short because some everybody's head shape is different. So it's easier for you to cut them up and make them fit your face rather than them be too short and then you're stuck with a short bang wig. So definitely good look on that. And I like the fact that they added like an extra inch or two just so that way I had extra room to work with. Leah has a really small head. She wears a cap size 22, which is pretty average, so I'm just throwing that out there so you guys have a reference point. So here we are just geeking behind the scenes. The wig is ready to go, so all I had to do was just braid her up, and um, we've been treating her hair, so I am gonna show me putting the miracle drops in her hair because we're trying to grow her hair out. We got rid of all the red hair color that was on the ends. So now we are 100% starting fresh, starting natural, and ready to get her slate. So I'm just gonna finish braiding her up I'm not gonna show the whole part of me braiding because it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty boring. So all I'm doing is just going and putting some straight back braids in her hair. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna sew all the braids together at the bottom. Normally I do like the interlocking braid method, but for Ali, I decided not to only because her hair's a little bit shorter. And sometimes that can add tension on the back of your client's hair. So you just wanna make sure um, that you do what's, what's best for your client and what's suitable and more comfortable for them. So here I am just using the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. I will add the information for these down below as well. These are really good when it comes to growing your hair. You guys have seen my hair journey if you follow me on Instagram. If not, be sure to go over there and follow me. And yeah, we're just going to apply these Miracle Drops and then I'm going to put a cap on her and we're going to start fitting this wig and start finessing this wig. So we've already popped it on. Like I said, this is a ready to wear unit, so it's nothing crazy. But I am making sure to put a cape on her just because these bangs are super long. And I'm going to face her towards the camera so you guys can see what I mean. So this is the wig straight out of the box. No altering, no nothing. We didn't shampoo it. We didn't have to bleach knots because there are no knots. Literally simple, easy to wear, ready to wear out the box wig. The only thing is the wig, the bang is super long. So I'm just going in with my shears. I'm going to point cut this. When you guys cut bangs, you want to make sure you take off little at a time. So unless you're a pro, even me sometimes, I like to take off just a tiny bit and then I work my way up little at a time. If you take off too much and the bang is too short, then you will run into an issue and you'll end up having to like glue tracks in or sew tracks in, whatever the case may be. And we don't have time to do that today and we don't want this wig to be super bulky. So I'm just framing her face. I'm cutting the hair, I'm showing her how it looks in the mirror. I'm asking her to open her eyes to make sure it's comfortable. And yet, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and cut both sides of this until it's to a, a length that we both can agree on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this wig as well. So I'm gonna finish trimming her up. You guys can pretty much watch what I'm doing. And then after, I'm just gonna go in with my custom flat irons that are coming out soon. And we are going to just press this wig out bone straight. We're not gonna bend the ends or anything. We're going for like a more chic and sexy look. Me personally, I have not worn bangs in a long time, but I prefer long, exaggerated bangs. So I was trying to keep it this length, but Leah was like, look, I cannot see. So we just took it up just a little bit more so that way it's comfortable and it's not gonna be in her eyes while she's driving or while she's at work or going about her day because she does plan on wearing this unit around town and all of that. So you just wanna make sure it's comfortable and it's fitting to her head. 
And with my shears, I'm just going in and just creating a guideline. But then after I create the guideline, I am going in and point cutting the bang just to give it like a more fringe look. It's not so blunt straight across. It just has like a natural way that it falls. Once I'm done doing the bangs, I did go over the sides just to even everything out a little bit and to frame her face and kind of give her like a slant so that way the bang transitions into the longer hair on the sides. So I'm almost done cutting this all together. The bang probably took me 10 minutes just because I was taking my time and I knew I was, was recording and I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Sorry if I'm like struggling through this voiceover, guys. I've had a long day. This is literally my fourth wig video I've done today. So I'm just trying to bust these out. Your girl is super exhausted at this point. But yeah, I'm just going in. I did spray some S3 spray on her hair. Just want to make sure you put a heat protectant in any hair or weave hair because you don't want to burn the hair. You want to get longevity out of it. So now I'm just going in with my flat iron on setting 450 and I'm just going in and sleeking out her hair. I'm going to do this all over and then I'm just going to hit the bangs. This hair did hold some heat so I just had to make sure that after each section I just held it up in my hand for a second. I held it with the rat tail end of the comb just so it didn't like burn through or like get too hot on her skin. Just keep that in mind also if you're ever like working with bangs in the face you just want to make sure like you press it out and hold the hair up so that way it's not too hot. So we are all done. I took the cape off. Aaliyah is just going to model for me and give you guys some looks just to give you a feel how this wig looks. Overall, I'll give this wig a 10 out of 10 because it's easy to wear and I'm super lazy when it comes to my hair. So yeah, thank you so much, Original Queen, and thank you so much to my subscribers, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.